So, okay, y'all, I'm back for my part two, okay? So you did get the part, the first part. My chili, bacon chili, is still cooking on the top of the stove here. What I'm gonna start doing, um, I have the tortillas, I have my, my famous little flat thingy that I love to uh, toast them up in, and I have a couple of sticks. I'm doing four for my show, and of course I do more later for my family. So, um, and I have my tortillas ready. Very simple, a dollar y'all for these. They're very soft, small, easy to do. It's all about the bacon chili though, okay? That's just a little add to it. Okay, and if you come over here as well, you will see I have a lemon, a lime. I have mozzarella, okay? A couple of pieces of that, slices of that. I have shredded cheese, which I forgot to add in the first part. Um, so yes, I have shredded cheese that I also do in this dish. However, you can keep it out. If you're just a mozzarella fan, that's fine. Okay, and I also have my avocado here that we're gonna be shredding on top of the dish, a little bit of cilantro. We also squeeze a little bit of lemon and lime and also for garnish. So that's what I'm gonna be doing right now, okay? <laughs> As this is cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and Start, uh, which I already poured some in there, actually. Okay. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and turn this baby on. Okay. Very, very low, y'all. You know what? When I did the bacalao itos, when I did those, I used the same thing. You want to keep this very low. Okay. So as it simmers up, you want to make sure you spread that a little bit. Just make sure. And this gets hot very quickly, y'all. So you want to... Keep an eye on these uh, tortillas, especially these ones. These are really the cheaper brand. All right, so I can do two at a time. All right, so we're going to go ahead and toast that up. And I'm so excited. I cannot wait till this dish is over so I can show you the aftermath, which I love to do. <laughs> okay, so basically what I'm going to be doing, y'all, let me put you over here nicely. Don't want you to fall. Okay. I'm gonna be using this bowl here to put some of the chili, so that way you can see me uh, wrap them up, and then you're gonna see how I put everything together, how I layer it so beautifully, and how delicious this is gonna be. And I don't add beans to this dish, it's just chili bacon, um, and uh, with all the great ingredients. And this is my own that I do. Okay, so let's flip this and flip that. Okay, and again, low heat is always good, but if you're right next to it and you're not doing too much, like right now, me, <laughs> you can crank it up a little bit. And that chili bacon smells so good. I just, you know, turned it up and um, to die for y'all. And you always want that bacon to really simmer inside with that meat, with that ground beef. You don't want to overcook your onions um, with this dish as well. Okay. You just want to cook it to perfection. All right, so that looks really good. And I do not drain this, y'all. Of course, it's considered a chili. So I don't drain the meat or anything. As you know, that's how chili gets goes down, right? So that smells amazing. I wish you can smell it. <laughs> okay, so these are getting a little toasted up. All right, and I'm going to be flipping those with my fingers because I'm used to doing this, y'all. You just got to be very careful. And if you could see, they're already, they're already folding up. So you know that they're, I don't know if you can see, that's what, one thing that bothers me. I can't really show you up close. But um, someone's knocking on my door. <laughs> At the end of the day, we're mommies. I believe it's my uh, kids' friends. When you see that flop up, though, you know.